So if you're an Etsy dropshipper and you're making about you know a few hundred dollars a month to about a thousand dollars a month, the main thing you are probably thinking is how do I make more? Right? How do I make 10k a month? How do I make 20k a month? Well, that's what I'm going to go over in this video, and that's what I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to show you the concepts in which you need to do and apply. Right? So well done. You've broken the first barrier. Right? You have shown yourself and shown your mind that money through this path is possible and you've got products that sell that's the hardest part of etsy is finding products that sell okay so how do you scale that up well let's just ask you a few questions do you have one store if yes fix that okay you do not want all of your eggs in one basket you want to have a few isolated stores okay two are you spending enough time researching if no that is a huge mistake and that is going to be a big bottleneck when scaling okay you know you to scale you have to have stuff to sell and if you can't find stuff to sell sell or you're too lazy to find it you're not going to scale okay product research is the main heart of etsy drop shipping this is what you need to be spending most of your time doing finding new products getting proof of concept and testing right so one store no no go not enough research, no go, right? Time. Are you being productive with your time? Are you utilizing it well? Do you understand and have good back-end systems for your existing store or stores? Are you accurately tracking finances, accurately tracking orders in sheets? Do you have a good system for updating your customers, customer service, right? Is your graphic and design process good, smooth? Are you good at getting listings up? Are you quick at it? Are you, you know, doing it correctly? If no, spend time on that. You know, any of those areas, if you're not doing it, spend time working on those. And once you have the foundations, you can begin to scale using the process I'm going to show you, right? Imagine building a wall, right? And, you know, you want it nice and flat, right? Nice and flat so it goes up nice and evenly. But with your foundations like this, you know, you you're not doing accurate finance tracking and your orders are all off and your tracking numbers are all skewed, you know, it all becomes such a mess. A mess. So how are you gonna build up on that? It's all gonna end up wrong and it's all gonna multiply the mistakes, right? So work on your foundation. Okay, so now what you wanna be doing is you want to be opening new stores, isolated stores, have them ready, have them ready to go. Boom, boom, boom. They're there in your back pocket as we like to call it. And then one by one, you're going to start putting products up on them right it's super easy this is so what's the breakthrough here right but this is it you get new stores open and you list products up and once they become too much of a headache you find a virtual assistant and your virtual assistant is going to take care of your sheets it's going to take care of your customer service you never have your virtual assistant doing product research doing listings for you right you want to pull yourself away from anything that doesn't make you money your sheets don't make you money. Responding to customers don't make you money, right? But guess what does? Listing products. So now you are free to open up new stores and list products and then you pass it to your VA, right? Handle any customer questions. Make sure you're, you're filling out spreadsheets, right? Maybe they do your SKU databases too and you don't have to worry about anything, okay? It's all about taking yourself out, giving yourself more time to focus on the money. And once you focus on the money, you're finding you're, you feel a lot better, you're less burnt out, right? you're more satisfied, and you're getting better results, right? Because you're not waking up in the morning going, oh, all those customer messages, and then I've got to do my sheets, and oh, I don't want to do it. And you spend three hours doing all this, and you're like this, and you're like, oh. Now I've got to go to my job and then you come home and it's like, oh, there's more messages to do. When am I going to do research? Right? None of that. You've got six, seven hours of the day there to do research, to get new products up, to scale up. It's so simple, but people don't understand the way to make more money on Etsy is by testing new products across new stores with very good back end systems. So these stores run smoothly and they have a good lifespan. Okay. So, if you have someone dedicated to keeping customers happy, keeping orders, you know, on top of orders, order tracking, everything like that, 
how how safe are they? They're, they're healthy. Customers are happy. Everything's going well, and orders are being processed on time, and customers are updated. They're kept in the loop. You know that is how you have a safe and secure store. You don't want to annoy your customers, right? And you've got someone dedicated to that. And a VA can be super cheap. You know, you could potentially find one for two dollars an hour, a dollar fifty an hour. Um, you know, you've just got to train them up, show them how you like things to run, make videos, make documentation, um, and get them in the game. And this is just the biggest way to, to scale on Etsy, especially if you don't have time. You know, the less time you have already, is the sooner you're going to have to bring a VA in. You know, but don't bring a VA in until you understand the game. Once you understand the game, the basics, how to level up, the logistical side, and you can teach someone to also know that for how you like it. And then you can focus on where the money is, right? And the quicker you're able to focus on where the money is instead of the nonsense is the quicker you start hitting those 10, 20, 30K months, right? But don't rush into it, okay? You, you, I really, I know I've said this countless times in this video, but you have to have the basics down. And if you don't have the basics down, you're gonna crash and burn. I, I see far too many people that open a new Etsy store, they put five listings up, they've not really done any research, there's a million other sellers selling them, they get no sales, they get burnt out, and they, they have no idea what they're doing, or they do that and they get some sales and they have a terrible backend system. You know, They're using AliExpress and there's no tracking numbers, and. They go days without responding to customers because they're lazy, right? If you're lazy, you are going to fail, right? If you run that kind of system, don't even start. Work on yourself, work on your discipline, work on your motivation and understand the game is the game.